Ken Fazio, president of Tyrus Baseball, joining us right now. Very excited to chat with Ken. Yes, we see AJ is obsessed with the Pine Tire Applicator, but uh, Tyrus Baseball, great sponsor here, tyruspaceball.com to check out a wide variety of products, bats, pine tar, grip sticks, rosin bags. Ken, how are you? And give us a little lowdown of what your company's got. And then I cannot wait to get into your expert analysis on the sticky stuff situation that will return to the MLB headlines tonight with Max Scherzer's debut. Doing great, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, so uh, Tyrus is a small family-owned business. Um, you know, where uh, we come from humble beginnings and we don't forget where we came from. You know, we love and we honor the game like you guys do. Um, the mission that we have is to bring high quality products that you find in the big leagues to amateurs at an affordable price. Um, we're really proud to say that we make 55 standard products and 53 of them are made in the USA. Most of them by us, some by others, but in the United States. And I'm the managing partner of BWP Bats as well. So that's a separate company, but uh, that's that's pretty much who we are and, and what we do. And we appreciate you. And we've got a lot of the products here, including right in front of me as well. So again, tyrusbaseball.com to check out all these products. And we'll talk more about it after the interview. But let's get into Max Scherzer because we connected and became friends on this topic. I've, I've made many friends because of this topic, because when people are confused, Ken, they come together. So what was your take of Max Scherzer's suspension and being kicked out of that game a couple weeks ago as he now returns? And how can we fix this sticky stuff problem? Because we have pitchers on multiple times a week who have no idea what the rules are with a baseball and rosin and sweat. Okay. Uh, Scherzer was in a no-win situation as, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, he, he had a situation where uh, Cuzzy had eyes on him to begin with, you know, and I think that's kind of his thing. There are guys who call box and there are guys who pick this out and that out, and I guess that's now his thing. So anyway, um, so at some point Scherzer attempts to clean his hands. I think he was directed to do so. I saw the post game thing. I, I'm a Met fan. I start watching that game. I'm like, where the frig is Scherzer? I come out of the shop and, and he's gone. And then I'm trying to catch up and find out what happened. I'm like, Oh my God. Anyway. So, um, you know, he attempts to clean his hands and it sounded like his hands were really uh, caked up with rosin. Okay. Now I, I'm sure the guys, uh, sitting there with you, Scott, know that, you know, uh, Alcohol activates rosin. I mean, this product here, you got it on your, on, on the desk there, the grip spray, it's made with alcohol and it's made with rosin. That's all you need to know, you know? Um, and, you know, what, what we do when all the products we make, almost all of them have rosin in them, uh, a lot of times we wear gloves, sometimes we don't. You know, you need a degreaser, coconut oil, Zep orange cleaner, that's what you need. The problem, the negative with that as a pitcher is there's oily residue, uh, if you wash, pitchers don't like to wash a lot because the hands get soft. They don't get a good grip on the ball. You know, the, the answer to that is maybe grab a handful of dirt and, you know, move it around. But that's really what you need to do. And you use the alcohol as a finish, you know, just to kind of get the last bit off. You don't start with it, you know. And if, if anybody, any of you guys tried to get the registration off your windshield? Anybody do that? No? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of yeah. Course. Yeah. Okay. And so when you try to clean off the windshield before you put the new one on, you take a rag or a, a paper towel with some alcohol and you start to smear the, the adhesive that's on there. Well, that's what Scherzer was doing. It takes you five, six passes to get that windshield nice and clean before you can put the new one on. Well, you know, uh, he had way too much rosin on his hands to start with alcohol. And that's pretty much where I, I feel like he had, what, seven, you get, what do you get, eight, seven, eight minutes to get back on the field? Is that right? Am I right about that, guys? Yeah, it was a while. Something like while. that. Yeah, yeah. so, so, yeah, so it, it took him, he didn't have enough time to do what he needed to do to get completely clean. And, and that's where I see that particular situation. As far as Rosenbergs, we can talk about that. I'll answer any question you got, and I have my own ideas. But that's where I saw it, you know? Yeah, let's run Max talking about the topic. Okay. Oh, 
Uh-oh. Oh, we'll get back to it. I don't have any sound. No. Basically, he said he used he did what no. MLB told him to do, Ken, which is yeah. wash your hands with alcohol and water. I saw it. Right? And then it made it stickier because alcohol yeah. and rosin gets super duper sticky. Like, I, if I put alcohol and rosin on my hand, this ball would not fall out of my fingers if I just went, took my thumb off. It would just stick there. Yep. Right? So he did what 100%. he did. So there's got to be a better way. But coconut oil ain't the answer either because I don't want no pitcher throwing with coconut oil on his fingers. Right, uh, right. I, th- that's what the I ball said. go everywhere. You know what it, right, right. No, a- absolutely. You, you, I'm talking about getting it off. You know what I mean? And then there's the issue of what do you do with the coconut oil on your hand? That's So that's why I say no win situation. No win situation. You know? What could MLB – we're, we're, always, we're always talking about this kind of stuff. MLB is – and this is my opinion. This is an AJ's or Scott's opinion. MLB is so reactive instead of proactive – you could without like, a doubt without if I if I may there was a process two years ago to standardize rosin bags in, in MLB prior to this our little company was selling 4,500 to 5,500 rosin bags a year to major league baseball and minor league baseball okay we started with Honduran rosin in the base we switched to to Brazilian there are reasons for that I can get into it later if you want and and then um you know we went back we, we went back to that Brazilian because it, it just made sense for the process at the time. And then MLB enters the picture and says, we're going to standardize it. There were probably 12, at least 12 that I know of, maybe even as many as 15 clubhouse guys that went to MLB and said, you need to talk to Tyrus. These guys are the guys. They're a small company, but they know their stuff. And honestly, we had to fight for a seat at the table. And then when we got in in the 11th hour, only because I was such a pain in the ass, you know, that we got in, we never really felt like we were part of it. And I talked to people, let me tell you, real smart people, smarter than me for sure, but that doesn't mean they understand what we do and rosin in and of itself. There were people involved in that process that thought that rosin was mined out of the earth. They thought that rosin was commercially viable in Georgia. It was 100 years ago since uh, that, that Georgia produced a lot of rosin. Rosin comes from uh, either the Pacific Rim or, or most of the stuff we get here comes from South America. In the midst of huge transportation issues right after COVID, uh, containers going from $2,000 a container all the way up to $25,000 a container to ship something. And these people had no idea of any, any, any of Wait, this. where does rosin and come at from? At the time, when they wanted where, to stick... Where, where does it the, come the, from? Because I don't know. The rosin that... Sure. Hond- well, right. You don't know... No, not you know, like not the country, but actually, where does it come from? Does it come Honduras, from a tree? Uh, comes from a tree. Uh, conifers, which are ones that produce cones, like pine like pine trees. And, and they come from, predominantly, Honduras and Brazil. And, and each of them have different properties. The, the Honduran is extremely sticky. It's, it's very rock-like. People say rock rosin. It's a misnomer because Brazilian rosin is also rock-like, but it's flaky. It's easier to make into powder. In, in, in 2012, and just interrupt me if I go too long, but in 2012, we came in with rosin bags and we used Honduran. And then around 2017, 2018, very interestingly, a lot of the clubbies were saying, we want powder, we want powder. We don't want that rocky stuff. And it's kind of funny. Why do you think that happened? And I can tell you why. You know, um, there started to be a predominance of sticky stuff used by pitchers. Not just a guy here or there, uh, but it was almost everybody. It was almost like they, the pitching coaches were saying, there's the sticky stuff, pick out something you like. You know, and, and how did we know that? Full disclosure. We were one of the named products. Our clear sticky grip was one of the named products that were being used. We developed it for hitters. We sold it to hitters, but we saw the people who were buying it. We knew it was going on, and then teams were buying it, you know? And and why would you want an all-powdered rosin bag? Well, on those hot days, and I, AJ, I'm sure you know this, and Eric, I'm sure you know this, right? That stuff starts to loosen up when it's real hot, right? Even your tar on your back starts to loosen up. So you knock it down with the rosin bag, tighten it up a little bit. Well, same thing 
with with pitchers. So that's why, and that's why we we transferred over to Brazilian. It's a little less sticky. You know, you kind of got to burnish it either on your pants or rub rub your fingers together. You know, to get it going and stuff like that. But that's what was happening, and that's what you know where we were. And then fast forward to we're going to standardize it, and the next thing I know, they went to this Rosbay, they put Honduran back in it, which definitely is absolutely the stickier product now. I'm trying to remember, has anybody seen, they're not ours, but, you know, we've got them, the, the rectangular rosin bags. Now, this is a powder, you know, this is one that's rock, and we, you know, they, they look the same, so we, we make sure we mark them that way. But the powdered ones have been caking up. They've been getting like bricks when it's really hard. And, that, you know, that's something I could have told MLB from the beginning, because the Honduran rosin that they specified at the end wants to go back together. It wants to get brick-like. It's not flaky. And even when, you know, you fire that rosin bag back down on the mound, it doesn't break up like like the flaky Brazilian rosin. You know, it gets into like rocky, sharp kind of pieces. I, I don't know if, Eric, you may have seen that more lately. I think you've been in the league more recently than AJ, correct? Am I yeah. right about that? Yep. Yeah. So you might have seen that. I don't know if you did or you didn't, but that's what's going on. So there's clearly problems. There's ways of mitigating that, you know, mixing the rosin bags with additives that will make it a little less sticky. Um, you know, these are all the things we know and we have called upon. Every once in a while, we get something ordered from us and it, it, it goes up to Massachusetts. You know, they use like an MLB website. Uh, they use an MLB uh, email address. And who's who's buying it and then they're sending it to the testing site up in Massachusetts like we don't know what's going on you know what I mean and, um, <laughs> and but yet nobody asks us you know and we've got a lot of practical not it's like what Ozzy was saying earlier you know you know you know ball players you know and managing a game it's all about the eye test a lot of time not exactly what it says on a piece of paper you know and and it's the same thing with us we have a lot of practical knowledge I am not a chemist. I am not at all the smartest guy in the world, not even close, but I know my shit about this sticky stuff. And what I forgot about it, they don't even know. And that's the problem. They don't ask the people who know. That is exactly the problem because pitchers being confused is an issue. It's very easy to get a little bored together or at least do, you know, a weekly session with people like you, pitchers in the game now, and go over how the hell can we make this not a problem. Out of the news. Hold on. Before he answers this, what teams bought sticky stuff? Yeah. What teams and players? Can we? Can we get? You have list? to kill me first, pal. Listen, <laughs> we are we are one hundred percent players first. Even though we listen, if I had your talent and Kratzy's talent, I would throw mine away. However, we know what it's like to be players. We know what it's like to have your reputation, your career, and your future on the line. And guys who bought stuff from us, agents, players. Teams, you have to kill us first, or you have to subpoena us. You don't get the information. <laughs> Amazing. All right. How's so, that? So that, that, that's perfect. And we're player first, too. So we're, we're neutral. Oh, we I, and I know you like it. I, I didn't mean to yeah. say you weren't. No, no. Yeah. You know what yeah. it's all about. That's why we appreciate having you on here, Ken. Um, thank you so much. And again, appreciate you sending us stuff as well. As, Especially this, this Scott yes, Wacker thing you, thank you sent me. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate Thanks for yeah. my shirt, hey, too. Thanks, the shirt. I like Thanks, that man. shirt. Yeah. Thanks. Ken, great Thanks, great it. talking to you. you guys, appreciate it. What's up? No, no. If, if anybody didn't get a shirt, let me know. I'll get it to them. All right? We got you. We got you. Absolutely. We'll put all right, this man. all Thanks up, too. The, Thanks for the time. Thank right, you, Ken. Appreciate it. That was great. Um, you can shop at tirespaceball.com. You'll find high-quality tires, baseball, maple bats, pine tar, grip sticks, rosin bags, which he showed us, and other accessories. The pros know Tyrus. Do you? I do now. Hell yeah.